Let's get into the papers for the day. You want to start? You have yes, the Daily Graphic? Yes, I have the Daily Graphic. Okay. All right, so on the Daily Graphic, we have here, a crash treats that trap for motorists. Traffic lights, dead. Urban roads battle to keep them on. Mm. Attorney General in the Great Registrar of Companies Office in Kumasi. Oil fields to produce 120,000 barrels daily, and that's by the energy minister. And behind it, we have Sonan uh, Sogli supports emergency relief fund, flood victims, mm. and philanthropists help 30,000 in <laughs> Bukum Rugu. And you know, <laughs> 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 whoa, the sense yeah, again, yeah. Bumprugu. Bumprugu. yeah, okay, and that's <laughs> and that's what we have. I like that, <laughs> <Bumprugu. Daily graphic. laughs> all right. So, we have the Guardian Times Don't here do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> On the front page of the Guardian Times, we have 1.5 million young persons do um, not in education employment or training. Uh, this is a sec uh, 20, 2022 third quarter labor statistical report. That's actually a very, very damning indictment on um, the way we've run things in the nation. Well, uh, the other headlines here, we have MTN poised to invest one billion US dollars in network expansion over the five, next five year period. And uh, boost for SMEs. Uh, government disburses 100 million Ghana cities to 105 enterprises to promote industrialization and youth employment. Then we have as a half of police investigate death of colleague. That's it for the Ghanaian Times. So on the finder, we have NPP's 2024 victory hinges on candidate message and campaign style. And Akosha Menu files nomination to contest Adentan primaries. Land Ministry denies engaging land guards to protect state lands. 100 million Ghana cities GSDF, GSDF grants disbursed to 105 enterprises for industrialization. Pass the anti-LGBTQ bill without further delay, moderate, moderator Global Evangelical Church says. Mm. All right. We have the daily guide, and here it says the government begins payment of food suppliers. Okay, let's keep MPP in power. Baumia is speaking. Ofreata presents mid year budget July 25th. So we're looking forward to that. Twin brothers on the run for killing friend. And uh, Aisha Wang run illegal company. Aisha Wang run illegal company. So those are the headlines on the front page of the Daily Guide. All right, so on the anchor, we have here Asanko Mines. Tonto Chrome Youth clash over job again. Uses armed men, police to terrorize residents over mining concession. CSBO urges government to remove taxes on lottery betting. In 2023 budget review, Chief Boss Mines donates to Dira um, flood victims and Hatchboard apologizes for shambolic organization. Hmm. Okay. The Chronicle. Hookah board to exchange 7.9 billion Ghana City bonds in, on uh, new terms. Uh, CJ Tokonu gladdens hearts of JUSAC members. Uh, we have slain police officer later rest. Uh, Buzia comes to life at Hotel Wawa. And... Um, we have, I'll replace Rawlings as your godfather, Alan tells Voltarians. Hmm. I wonder where he's going with that. Uh, the scripture on the front page of the Chronicle today says, uh, Numbers 30, verse 2. If a man makes a vow to the Lord or takes an oath to bind himself with a binding obligation, he shall not violate his word. Yes. He shall do according to all that proceeds out of his mouth. Amen. Oi. I think this one is for Alan. Yes. So if you're promising, you have to fulfill. <laughs> if All you're right. promising, you have to fulfill. All right. So on the daybreak, yeah. um, our, primary, our primary not rich man's contest, and that's by Baumia. Um, U.S. Royal Danish Government Support Ghana Navy SBS. Mm. I have made the greatest political sacrifice in MPP, and that's by Alan. 
post-service teaching certification for NSS personnel. Stop press to be promoted or not. Mm. Okay. And uh, I have the overseer. On the front page here, it says, um, MPP to rig superdelegates elections for Baumia. Uh, NPP has to choose between government business and prosecuting. Quason Daily, uh, to force in speaking here. Uh, NDC Youth Wing retreats. A uh, retreat starts today at the Rata Hotel. And the quest for Mahama's running mate, uh, Volta, holds the key. All right, All right, so, so yeah. my last paper here being the Economy Times. BOG sells 120 million U.S. dollars for quarter three, I mean the third quarter of 2023. And BOG reviews health of economy, budget review, government acts to cut expenditure. And that's what we have here for the Economy Times. All right, and my last one is the BNF team. And here it says... Um, from viral hits to brand success, unleashing TikTok's marketing potential. You have UGMC, five years of working towards the provision of world-class patient care, training, and research. We also have Valco needs 600 million US dollars to modernize aging smelter. Bad roads contributing to high food prices. Uh, that's not um, any surprise there. Uh, Kolebu Teaching Hospital touts local capacity in first kidney transplant, comments First Sky Group. And uh, we have here World Bank supports energy sector amid economic challenges. And that's what we have on the dailies. Uh, we, we can do some online stories as well. Yes. So yeah. um, let's head over to citynewsroom.com. Some of the headlines we have here. Cocoa Bills Debt Exchange, an indication Mm. Government can't pay its debts. And that's by Joe Jackson. And budget review. COPEC warns against introduction of new taxes on fuel. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't end, does it? Oh, Lord. I'm tired. <laughs> well, government renegades on promise to pay food suppliers. Members threatening to picket on Thursday. UDS lecturers threatening strike over a cancellation of some office positions by GTEC. But Tiano traditional council demands probe into killing of alleged um, land, land guards. guards. Okay. And those are some of the headlines that we have here on yeah. citynewsroom.com. There's, there's a few of them, a few extra that I'm going to go through quickly. Okay. It says here, bill to abolish death penalty has a Kufuado's blessing, as Xavier Susu speaking yeah. there uh, yesterday on the point of view with... Uh, Bernard Avle, uh, it was a very riveting conversation. Um, soft skin bullion vans withdrawn. Okay. That story is interesting. I want to see what it says in there. Soft skinned bullion vans. What are those? The bullion vans that are soft skin. That are soft skin. <laughs> As opposed to what? Thick skin. The, the ones. The Association of Bull, uh, Bullion Van Operators in Ghana has announced. You know the funny thing about this, this said, story? Like, th you know, no, no. You, you see, even when you say association yeah. of bullion van operators, we don't even have one That is not a bullion Ghana. van, you know. That's we don't even have bullion one van. bullion van in Ghana. How did they form an association? <laughs> no, so money transporters. Do you understand? True. Money couriers or money transporters, not bullion van operators. Because it, and, any no, time, a bullion van has yeah, a specific day. It's like saying it's like saying um, ambulance association of ambulance operators, and then the ambulance you have taxis and and uh, 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 other type of uh, with uh, sirens on uh, them. Yes, a, a, a matis a matis with a siren on it. This is an ambulance. <laughs> the association of ambulance operators. Please, okay. Anyway, let me read the story. Um, the Association of Bullion, Bullion Van Operators in Ghana has announced the withdrawal of all soft-skinned bullion vans from operations across the country. The association says banks have been warned not to accept soft-skinned vans into their premises. The Ghana police has also threatened to withdraw its officers from bank escorts if the soft-skinned vans uh, were not withdrawn. Uh, the president of the association, um, Alaji Idi Sum, uh, Sumiala, says armored vans will now be used for cash pickups. Okay, well, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, to see the armored vans. 
um, early on, he provided a reassurance on to the public that no soft skin vehicle will be used for transporting cash starting July 1st, 2023. Now, he said this in an interview on Eyewitness News. Um, Alaji Sumaila uh, stated that the association is committed to ensuring that all banks across the country utilize uh, the, the available 150 bullion, bullion vans. 150 bullion vans. Wow. Mm. Before the specified deadline. This decision comes in response to the increasing uh, incidents of armed robbery attacks on bullion vans in the country. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm, I really want to see this. Yes. Um, you know, I want to, I mean, <sighs> yesterday, I was, when we were doing the news review segment, I was, I read the, the um, specifications for a bullion van. Sure. You know, it even has to have bulletproof glass. So if it doesn't have bulletproof glass, you can't even call it a bullion van. The thing is, like, the first time I ever heard of a bullion van robbery here in mm. Ghana, I had to run straight to the internet to actually see the picture of what they're calling a bullion van. And yeah. I was really disappointed because, like, <laughs> I was... I don't know what that's about. I kept about. saying, this is not a bullion... This is a normal van people own in their houses. Yeah. Like, you understand? Like, yeah. this is not a bullion yeah. van. Charlie, and you know what? You want to see a bullion van here? Watch SWAT. Do you know SWAT? There's a series called SWAT. Just go and watch SWAT. You'll see bullion van inside. Yeah. Or heist. Yeah. Heist also, you see bullion vans. Those are the those are bullion vans, not the ones that we have been playing. Or oh, simply with. just go to Lagos. Lagos, yeah, it's true, Nigeria. Hey. Once they're moving in, the money, in, in, the security. In, 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 oh my god. In 2011, I saw one in Nigeria. I couldn't believe the it. The chaos, the, not, like, like the chaos they they cause on the road when they're moving the money yeah. from bank to like yeah. from bank to yeah. a location. I, I think we it is, have, it is scary. but it's maybe just one or two, you know. So it is, honestly, it, it, it is really you don't scary. It is really scary. Like you have to move from the way, yeah. And the police force like guiding yeah. the money. Yeah. Oh my God, you, yeah. like, it's it, it's it's serious. Anyway, well, the sky sky train project, two million dollar payment was made by GIIF, not Railway Ministry. This is coming from Joe Gatte. Listen, this sky. Anyway, we're going to delve more into this conversation later because yeah. like, look, it's like the country we have been scamming ourselves. Uh, I wonder when it's going to end. Anyway, you know what? Sports Review is next. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> All right, welcome. And back, and uh, we're going to be talking sports now, a few sports stories we have for you. And um, new signing, Lionel Messi, has been officially presented to cheering crowds at Inter Miami's DRV PNK Stadium. Now, a sold-out crowd of about 20,000 waited through downpours and lightning to see the seven-time Ballon d'Or winner given a number 10 shirt. Now, in a brief address in Spanish, Messi, 36, thanks supporters, and he said that he has the same desire as he always had. Um, the World Cup winning Argentinian forward joins the Major League Soccer Club um, on a deal until the end of 2025. He'll be reunited with defensive midfielder Sergio Busquets, um, with whom he played at Barcelona, uh, uh, who has also signed from Miami till, till 2025. Now, Ghana's Black Queens will host their Guinean counterparts in the second leg of the first round of qualifiers for, the, for Paris 2024 Olympics today. Uh, Ghana goes into the game with their noses ahead, uh, having won the first leg in uh, three three nil actually in Conakry on Friday, um, a win today will send Ghana uh, to the next uh, round of the qualifiers, where the Black Queens will play the winner of the match between Rwanda and Uganda in the second round qualifiers. The game against Guinea is scheduled for a 4 p.m. kickoff at the Accra Sports Stadium. And that's what we have for sports this morning. All right. Um, I want to take you back to citynewsroom.com and um, just touch on 
one or two other headlines that we have in here before we take a quick break. Uh, we've never engaged the services of land guards. This is coming from the Ghana police. Now, this is a very interesting one for me, and I think that my um, guests in the next segment, uh, we're going to try and get a little bit into this conversation because there seems to be a lot of uh, general feeling and, 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 and a way of thinking on the ground that, you know, Private persons, you know, easily um, get access to land guards and so on. And there's been um, some accusations that even the police have yeah. used land guards, you know, uh, for to execute certain things. Uh, but the police have come out with a statement to say it's never happened. They've never done that. Well, we'll see, um, you know, what my guests have to say on the next segment. This is going to be interesting. You don't want to miss it, all right? It says here, we claim... Uh, claims we use land guards is unimaginable. This is also coming from the Ghana Armed Forces. So the services, they are, they are back, backtracking and saying that they're not involved with the use of armed forces at all. And um, land guards, sorry, at 